Welcome to Lafayette Blue Spring State Park. Located on the Suwannee River. No ranger at the gate, so they have a box for the honor fee system. I'm a pass holder, so I just put my number on the slip. Last time I came here, the river was very high and the spring was totally browned out. As a first magnitude spring, Lafayette discharges roughly 168 million gallons of water every day into the Suwannee River. When the river is low, the limestone land bridge is exposed. The land bridge forms an underwater tunnel as you can see this gentleman passing through. So my oldest son and I grabbed our gear and headed back down to the water. After a brief swim, we discover the main cavern. When conditions are right, this is a very popular cave diving destination. The cave consists of thousands of feet of surveyed passages, as well as rooms that are 30 feet tall, and many of the tunnels are 10 to 20 feet wide. A few scenes from my son's 360 camera. At the time we both had sinus congestion so it made it a little challenging to equalize our ears at depth. Maybe being distracted with hurting ears caused my lack of spatial awareness. I cracked my head on this rock. Fortunately I was okay, but you should always be aware of anything above you as you're surfacing. Okay. They call this Lafayette blue, but on our visit, I guess it was Lafayette green. But it could have been Lafayette brown like it was the last time I came here. So after checking out the main cavern entrance, we headed over to the swim through water tunnel. Going through the tunnel with the current is quite easy. Going back is another story. My son with the 360 view. So going with the current was easy. Going against the current through a siphon is not very easy. I tried to stop my son from going through after I surfaced, but it was a little too late and he struggled through too. I highly recommend not going against the current. When the Suwannee River is low enough, they can actually make a little waterfall right here into the river. And you can see the confluence zone of the spring and the Suwannee River's tannic water. Dark and scary down there. You can find a few smaller vents amongst the limestone.
if you get a chance to check out Lafayette Blue Springs when the Swanee River is low, I definitely recommend. It's a really cool spot. Please like and subscribe. We have many, many more videos coming soon.